Hi guys, Hi welcome guys. back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Again, like and always, uh, sorry for my sorry appearance. appearance. <laughs> I'm just really tired and, and I have a headache. And I have a headache. And I think and it's I probably the weather because it looks like it's just about to just start pouring down rain. <laughs> Because I think it's starting to rain. Well, it's about to, it looks like it's about to. But that's not going to stop me from bringing you a grocery haul. A grocery haul. And I am making a pepperoni. Pepperoni. Wow, that's good. That's good. A pizza. Pepperoni pizza casserole for dinner. Mmm. Did you know that, James? No. No, I didn't think so. But I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I do love pepperoni pizza. Yeah. Well, you sometimes say it's a little spicy, but that's what we are doing. I'm at Kroger right now, and I'm going to Yeah, go. on Daddy's Kroger. Last time we were at Mommy's, but now we had Daddy's Kroger. Yeah. It's kind of an inside family thing, but... Yeah, it's kind of an inside family thing. Yeah, and it's closer. Daddy's is closer. Mommy's is just farther from our house. Daddy's is cl closer. Okay. All Here is our hall. Sorry for the lighting. The lighting in our kitchen went out, <laughs> or the main one went out, so now it's kind of dark in our kitchen. So sorry about that. Yeah, but sorry about that. James went to say hello. Hello. But this is not a huge hall. This is kind of a small one. It's Fourth of July, uh, the week before Fourth of July. So we're not going to be here a whole lot. So it's kind of a smaller one. Uh, smaller haul oh. and and I have some of the stuff that I already needed for this week anyway so this is a smaller haul but for the pizza pepperoni casserole I needed three cups of mozzarella cheese so they only come in two cups where this well, they only had yep. for two cups mozzarella. so I had to get two yep. and I got some blackberries yeah how do I eat this too? The raspberries, so we got some blackberries. Yeah, we're gonna try the blackberries and see if she likes them. Then yeah, I got... and and those blackberries are kind of messy. Oh well, we yes, we we're gonna try to be clean with them, right? Yeah. And then I got my um, favorite coffee yep. creamer, the cinnamon toast crunch. And then I needed this for the casserole. Yeah. I got two and, lean ground beef. And here's another one. Yes, I got two of these. <laughs> I like the lean. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as tasty, but it's healthier. Yeah, not a, maybe not as tasty, but it's healthier. Thank you, James. And then I was looking for stuff for breakfast, so I got these kolaches sausage rolls. Caught my eye. They look yeah, we never had them before. No one has. Not, uh, not in our house. We, we've had kolaches, and I really like these, so I decided to get those. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator really quick and I'll be back with the rest of the haul. Alrighty, let's finish this up. Alright, here is some pepperoni for the casserole. I kind of went on a snack pack craziness. Uh, James wanted some of this chocolate and vanilla one. Oops, sorry. Um, but then I was like, well, I kind of want some and I knew they were going to go fast in this house, so I got this big thing of it and then <laughs> I, got, I got this for Hannah James will probably eat some too because it's pink <laughs> and unicorns and on top I thought it was kind of funny it says taste like joy and rainbow sparkles made with fairy dust and princess kisses <laughs> and you can also make a shake out of it I guess or you can you uh, discover a great recipe Sorry for my dog. He's trying to get in. He's in that backyard. And then I saw this little book for Hannah. She loves books. 
And the Little Mermaid, you put your little finger in the back. Yep. You want to demonstrate, James? Yep. Well, you put it back a little bit. I can't see it. There you go. Move it around. Wiggle it. Wiggle her tail. There you go. All right, then I got myself some more ponytail holders. I was putting my hair up in a ponytail today to go to the store and one of my old ones just popped right off or popped and broke. So I got some more and then I was supposed to get a big thing of pizza sauce. They didn't have any, so I had to get two small ones. Then James saw these assorted fruit flavored snacks and they had Mickey Mouse on it and Hannah loves Mickey Mouse. So he was like, I wouldn't Hannah like that? And I was like, yeah, she would. That's really sweet of you. So I was like, I guess we can get some of these for Hannah and the little snacks. And I was like, y'all can share these. And then he was like, well, they have Paw Patrol too. And I was like, well, you can share these. And he's like, well, I want my own. I was like, well, you can share these. And he went his own. So he won out and he got Paw Patrol ones also. Of course. And then um, I need some more Band-Aids. I wasn't going to get the family pack, but I was like, well, we go through them anyway. And they have Toy Story. Our kids love Toy Story. So I was like, that would be perfect anyway. So we got, ooh, we got those. I guess I'll keep those up there. And then my cat, it, cat needs more treats so I got them two different kinds of cat treats and then I needed some dishwashing detergent so I got this kind I got Kroger brand and then I needed some more toilet bowl flushable pads uh, actually I need I wanted the ones that weren't flushable the um they're more heavy duty but for some reason, my Kroger didn't carry them or they were out. So I just got some of these flushable ones. And then also got some Bounty, the 24, eight equal 24 <laughs> triples paper towels. Cause we go through paper towels like crazy here. And the only thing that I don't have on this list, is, or up that I'm showing you, is the cat litter because David left it out in the garage. And once it's on the floor in the garage, I really don't want it in the kitchen on my counter. And here is the flavor of this cat treats. I got turkey and gravy flavored and chicken and gravy. All right, on to making the pepperoni pizza casserole. All right, let's make this pepperoni pizza casserole. First, I am right now. Mommy, I'm gonna say hi. Okay, James wants to say hi. Hi. Okay. First, I am getting my water boiling for the egg noodles. And then now I'm coming and again, sorry for the bad lighting and there's gonna be a lot of shadows because my main light in my kitchen is out. <laughs> so bear with me. And now I'm just going to Blah, me. get my brown meat and I'm going to yeah. brown it. Alright, so I just got these extra wide egg noodles and I'm going to put them in the boiling water. And it says on the back to cook for eight to nine minutes. You're probably wondering why I don't just turn the light on underneath the microwave. Well, we had to unplug it because it well it just doesn't work. The microwave is not working. I guess nothing in my kitchen works. All right, you're going to preheat your oven to 350. All right, you're gonna get yourself a nine by 13 dish 
They can go in the oven. And then you're going to need to get your pizza sauce. And you're just going to put like a thin layer of it on the bottom of your pan. Then you're going to continue by layering in this order. You're going to do half of the noodles, half of the ground beef, half of the pizza sauce. And I know it's called for only three cups of cheese, but I think I'm going to do four cups of cheese because my family likes cheese. And I'm just going to put the whole thing of this on because it says do half of the next of the mozzarella mozzarella cheese the remaining half of the egg noodles this is where you may have to start packing them down because it's going to start getting pretty thick and tall the remaining of the ground beef remaining of the pizza sauce the rest of the shredded cheese and then this is where you would be adding on the pepperoni and you can also add on any of your other favorite pizza toppings. Then you're going to cover with foil and bake for 20 minutes. Then you're going to unfoil it and then you're going to bake it for another 15 minutes. Okay, after 10 minutes of sitting, you're going to, it is ready to serve up. Yeah, ready to serve up. Voila! So it cooked for 20 minutes with foil on. Then 15 minutes with foil off, and then it's set for 10 minutes. Then you can get some more of that goodness out too. Yeah. All right, James, let's let you try it. Oh, yeah. I mean, so I'm going to like this. Because it's key Okay, blow on it. Mm. You like that? Yeah. Better than the other one because that other one's spicy. <laughs> All right. So this one is kid approved. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think this is a family favorite. All right. So if you try this recipe or you think you're going to try it, leave it down in the comments. Yeah, leave it down in the comments. Like, yeah. down, down, down. All right. I'll wait. Um, <laughs> please give us a Th thumbs up. Keep giving a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss any of our videos. But if you do miss any of our videos, go and find it. I'll be. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.